Hey there, Nick Jatakis here. In this video, we're going to go over the naming conventions around the Docker Compose.yaml file. So what we're looking at here is the official Docker Compose specification for the Compose file itself, and it does prefer that you name this file Compose.yaml with an A. However, it will fall back to Compose.yaml without the A, as well as the older style of Docker-Compose for both variants of the YAML file extension. And if you take a look here at the Docker Compose release notes, all the way back from March 2021, version 1.28.6 and above, it did add this idea of using Compose.yaml to the default file name list. So at the point of making this video here, it's over three years now. I think now is probably a safe time to start using Compose.yaml. And I just wanted to throw this video out there as a reminder to potentially make that update. I have updated all of my example Dockerized web apps here, these little starter kits for Flask, Rails, Django, Node, and Phoenix. They all use Compose.yaml now. And uh, that was actually a change I made pretty recently, a couple of weeks ago. So I figured I would make a video just to call it out there. So if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up because it really does help a lot. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Hey there, Nick. Hey there, Nick. Hey there, Nick. Jatak is here. In this video, we're hey there, Nick. Jatak is here. In this video, we're going to go over the naming conventions of the Docker Compose YAML file. And if we go to the Docker Compose release notes for version 1.28.6, this was released back in March 2021 here. So it's above, you know, I thought, <laughs> words are hard again.